Gold for the Netherlands at Eurovision 2020. Shall we talk about it? Let's do this! Oh my goodness! Hello! Hey, thank you, Avro Trust, for delivering us who? Jean Goum! Macroy! Goodness, Devin, the selection of the Surinese born singer who has relocated to the Netherlands. Paramari Bohani! Bringing the heat from Suriname. This is actually beautiful on so many levels. First, let's just talk about the issue of celebrating diversity. Open up, even. Yes. Open up. You know, this guy is Senoir, you know? Yes. He um, is LGBT. Yes. yes. He lives in Ed uh, He's an immigrant to another oh, country. Right. <laughs> Open up. And you know what? He Dare lives in Enskede. And that is a very valid point because it's a white farming community. I yeah. mean, talk about really embracing all aboard. Embracing it, running with it, and making it. So oh. he's fitting the theme perfectly, but more importantly for a song contest, the man can write songs. The man can sing. Did you see his TEDx performance in Maastricht? When I say Babes, I was all over it. He sang gold, gold, gold. Everywhere, everywhere I go, I see gold. You know one oh. thing though, William. You Tell know me. when you and I go out to music events and we record stuff and people always go, uh uh, how's this connected to Eurovision? Well, there's a story here. Stories. At North Sea Jazz Festival in 2017, when I went out there, I actually saw Shangu McCroy perform. Crazy. Amazing. Crazy. And he became Eurovision. You know, that's it's unreal. we go and scout, don't yeah, yeah. we? Oh, yeah, yeah. But he's been on the radar of NOS Avro Trust, the selection committee, for quite some time. They said in an official statement, the moment they heard his song, they fell in love. Now, I'm hoping the song that they have fallen in love with is one of his original songs, his 2016 song, again, from that TEDx talk. When he sings his own material, it's not placeable. You know, Suriname touches the Caribbean, the coast, it's Latin, but there's also Dutch influence. It's got all these things mixing to create a very original sound. I don't think gold sounds like Rag and Bone Man. I think gold sounds like something from the American South, from the Caribbean, rooted in something deeper, traditional, and yet made in a modern way. In the black clay soil with the blood of our sisters and brothers and mothers and also sounds very soul UK. Yes. You know, it has that neo soul vibe. And it's just really, really brilliant. But he does do covers. I mean, he's covered Stevie Wonder, Bob Dylan, yeah. George Mike. Beyonce's Halo. Oh. Halo. 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 I see your Halo. Hey, Shangu. <laughs> but listen, I prefer his original. Material. Absolutely. And Eurovision is all about original music as well. You know, three minutes of fabulosity. Oh, Shangu. I've got to tell you, between towers. You remember that? Oh my His goodness. His brother, Zilan. Wow. T together, it's like... Two giants. Choose your favorite. Two giants. You can't even do it. Oh, we have to address something. Mm -hmm. There was a comment on Wee Wee Blogs, and I've got to just point this out right now. Yes, Ricky Gervais, probably not the real Ricky Gervais, says, without sounding weird, in that main picture on weeblogs.com, Jango looks like Debens and Williams' love child. <laughs> yes, yes, Gaga, you look so good. <laughs> well, certainly his music does appeal to both of us. There is no doubt about Absolutely. that. And you know what? I'm loving that and I'm celebrating that. The guy's got dreads. What's there not to like? Amen. Hey, 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 <laughs> <laughs> Mine are in the closet next door. Now, look, I've got to say, again, He's always on DDWD, The World Keeps Turning, The World yes. Keeps Spinning. And he'll often do covers of other, like Bob Dylan, and he does them very well. Mm -hmm. But to me, that's not the real him. He shines not when he's doing covers, but when he's performing original music. It's like with Duncan Lawrence. His song felt authentic and original to him. I have a strong feeling that Jango Macroy. Yeah. 
He's gonna deliver something original and equally giving us the feels. The fact that the selection committee said it gave them the feels means this ain't no up-tempo dance number, soul funk. This is something like gold, gold, everywhere, everywhere I, go, I go, I see. And you gold. know, we also have to look at him in totality. As a product of music, he's got mm. two albums. You know, one yeah. on an, if, by himself, and he's also got Stars on My Radio, which he did with his brother, Zillan. He's got a live album. He's oh got an EP. He's got several singles. You know, these, that's the litmus, the litmus test for that selection. You know, they just thought, you know what, this guy can do it all, and... Three words. Tell me. Eric Van Teen. Ah! Musical director of Eurovision 2020. He worked with Jean Gu when he was playing Judas. Mm -hmm. It was at The Prophet. What was yeah, it? Yeah, The Passion. The Passion, forgive me. Judas mm -hmm. wasn't no prophet, what am I saying? In The Passion, so I don't know, maybe that's a good sign. And you know what else? Tell me. He was born on November the 6th. Scorpio! Yeah, you know who else was born on November the 6th? T don't tell me it's Duncan Lawrence. Eurovision winner Conchita Verst. Oh, wow! And, and also, someone sitting very close to you. William Lee Anderson! Yes! You're a winner, baby! <laughs> <laughs> I think that's a sign. Honestly, three LGBT, no, I'm just kidding. It's just a beautiful connection. And what I like about him is that he's quite daring. On his song, High on Love, he actually opens oh. it up saying, I could roll a joint. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's willing to push and blur boundaries. He's not afraid to go there, but still keeping it, you know, keeping it in. He's not afraid to shake up this place. Honestly, <laughs> he's gonna shake, 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 give me some love, love him more. And you know what, what's really interesting to me, and there's nothing wrong with this, oftentimes Eurovision performers come up through, you know, TV talent shows. It seems he's kind of bypassed that and is already on the road. Absolutely. Luxembourg, Germany, France, Belgium, he's a known name in these circles, as well as the first of all circuit around Europe. And he's also building a name for Suriname, y'all. Suriname, an interesting country. They speak Dutch. They speak a Creole dialect of English. There's a lot going on there, a very rich culture, and he's a beautiful ambassador. He has spoken about being openly gay, and he is an ambassador for gay young people in Suriname. He wants to use this platform you know, to affect change, to let people know that they are okay the way they are. All I say is Daisy Bautizer, oh my God. pick up the phone and call your boy. <laughs> because I tell you what, he is making Suriname proud, he's making the Netherlands proud, he's making LGBT people proud, he's making immigrants proud. And that leads us to the point of Surinamese people who have performed at Eurovision. I've got a stage to trigger change. I hope I can be meaningful for all those young people in Suriname who discover their sexuality and discover that they're different. And not just Suriname. Venezuela, Colombia, Brazil, Nicaragua, Panama, Uruguay. I like the way you just made all those Latin America. You know, I'm just going to extend that even further. You know what? Mauritania. Yes. Wagadigu. Yes. Mogadishu. Yes. Togo, honey. <laughs> Lome, honey. Everywhere in the world. No, because he, honestly, we talk about world music. I don't want to put him in any box, but he, his sound is global. Mm. I think, like, I keep going back to gold. That would sound good on American radio. That would sound good on British radio. Yes. It, you know what I mean? He's touching so many things simply by being himself, that universality that's in him. Mm, and you know, that's a really important point. And Gold, of course, was a massive success. Game of Thrones soundtrack, oh you know, so it was used for that. <laughs> good enough for HBO? Absolutely. Good enough for us. For ESC. And good enough for Eurovision. <laughs> now, please tell me, is there a history of Surinamese performers representing the Netherlands? Actually, yes. And they take the lead on so many points. So, first of all, Millie Scott, she was oh. the first ever female Surinamese, actually first ever black performer yeah. at Eurovision, and that was back in 1966. Then you got Ruth Jacko as well, Love who her. went as well, and she was in 1992, was so good. no, 93, and then Humphrey Campbell in 1992. Deuces! Yeah. Deuces. yeah. Look, this is just a beautiful narrative, and I think the music that he produces will be equally beautiful. It almost started as a joke when Dutch media were like, the singer starts with a J. We're oh like, really? God, Are we, yeah. This alphabet soup? But you know yeah. what? <laughs> that alphabet soup is delicious because <laughs> this J has delivered. Absolutely. 
You know what? This is not just about opening up. It's about celebrating diversity. Honey, this lights my fire. Who dares to dream? Feel your heartbeat. Oh, honey. <laughs> Share the moment. Building bridges. Absolutely. You know what? Together, share the joy. All aboard. Shine bright. <laughs> <laughs> All those slogans. Confluence of <laughs> sound. Under the same sky. <laughs> What's this year? Open up. No, I'm a magical bird. Which one's that Moscow. one? Moscow. They didn't have a slogan. Oh, they didn't have they that They just had a magical one. bird. They didn't have In that In any one. case, that's what we think. What, what do, do you, you think? think? Are you loving Jean Gu? Do you think that he could bring the Netherlands a second win in a row? Or do you? Wow, I think he's gonna be a very respectable home home act. Yeah, he's gonna break I mean, the curse. Like, he's, he's not coming left. Yeah, no hell way. no, no way, no way. We're looking at Sabine and Babier. Because you know what, the Netherlands could have chosen anyone this year. Home territory, what a huge honor to represent your country. They could have chosen anyone, and they went with him. Mm. So there is something in that hat. They ain't pulling out a rabbit. They pulling out I don't know a giraffe. They're pulling out a beautiful peacock. There's gonna be something beautiful in that hat. And this is well thought out. You know, all that alphabet soup and all that. Oh, they they yeah, knew yeah, yeah. what they were doing. The yeah. run up, the lead up, the press around this. This is fantastic. Follow us on multiple social media platforms as we make our way to the Netherlands. And Shangu Macroy is also on those platforms. Living his life like he's golden, golden. Living his life like he's golden, golden. Living his life like he's golden, golden. We will see you later. Bye!